Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Bombs! Bombs! Well, here I am, back at the door. Oh, I guess I was too excited. Golly, what a night. It's blowing something fearful. <laughs> I know. So how's the house, Jerry? You mean audience? Well, of course. Oh, just a handful of people. Seems terrible to do that whole show just for those few towners. I know, but as long as anybody comes at all, the show has to go on. I just come from the cages with Jason. Oh, yes? Golly, his cats are acting up fierce. I'd sure hate to have to work them tonight. Yeah, Jason will manage. He was over there talking to him and trying to get him quieted down. Oh, don't you worry about Jason. He knows what to do all right. <laughs> Good evening, friend. Well, hello there, a Carlo. A frightful <laughs> evening, you mean. Oh, of course, Alfredo. I should say, a bad evening, friend. My dear brother, have you objections to shutting this bad evening out? I forget. Excuse me, I closed the door. And my dear brother, I think maybe you better take those pills I buy for you this afternoon with so much trouble. Bah! What do you mean, bah? I buy nice little pills to fix your silly stomach and you say bah. Are you sick, Alfredo? Of course not. You see, he does not want to worry such good friends. Bah! So, you still say bah? Jerry. You bring some water. We take care of this big brother of mine. Sure. Oh, but these are Hills pills, Carlos. Yes, yes, why not? Uh, I thought those pills were for seasickness. Uh, here's your water. Of course, seasickness. Fooey. Ah, you see, it is bad now. He is to the fooey stage. We must treat him carefully. <laughs> uh, Carlos, you are a clown. What's it all about? Ah, Bumps, it is very sad. You hear how the wind roars? Mm, yes. And you see how our wire waved back and forth this afternoon? Oh, I see. You think Alfredo will get seasick on the wire tonight? I think. Ha! Huh, I know. This afternoon, when the wire weaves so bad back and forth, I look at my brother. Ah, and his face, it is green. Green? Yes, and then yellow. And then I know for sure that it is the seasickness that visit my brother. And so I take a long walk in all this wind to buy him beautiful little pills. And now, now see how he treat me? Bah, such foolishness. I go now and wait for you in the pod room with sensible folks. But Alfredo... How you know with your brains who is sensible folks and who is... Bah! <laughs> See, you Benzinis are crazy. I, I never know whether to take what you say seriously or not. Ah, that is because you are young. Uh, the poor little neglected pills. Did I take them? Hey, what are you taking those pills for? Well, I buy them for to use. Now somebody must use them. But if you don't need them... Why, they might hurt you. Oh, they can't hurt him. <laughs> but I must say you carry your jokes pretty far. Well, folks, I'm heading for the pad room. Uh, how about you? Another country heard from. So you want to be sure to get in on the excitement tonight, huh, Ray? Uh, yeah, of course. He started working again, so naturally he's excited. Ready, Carlos? I come soon. All right. We'll see you over there, then. Hey, Rags, not so fast. <laughs> Did you see him shoot through that door? Golly, this is a night. Yeah, it's one of the worst winds I've ever been in. Hey, listen to that canvas. Yeah, it's a hard night on the animals. What's the matter, Rags? Thought you'd better get close to me, huh? Sure you had. <laughs> 
The idea of racing off the way you did. Uh, even Rags is nervous, and he's almost human. I'll say he is. Hey, there's Jason. He's around early. Yeah, oh, oh, Jason! Jason! Hello there. Oh, Bumps, it's you. And Jerry. Well, everything in order? Well, things are under control, at least for the moment. Oh, Jerry. Yeah? I think as soon as the show starts, you'd better get over to the horse tent and... Golly! Look what happened this afternoon when I went over there. Well, what do you mean? Well, I missed that chance to go on for Mr. Bradley. Golly, and... Well, gee, I've been waiting for... Oh, I don't know how long for a chance to go on for Mr. Bradley. And then the one time Mr. Randall needed me, they couldn't find oh, me. Oh, it was a shame. Well, they cut the whole turn out. Bradley's sick again? Oh, no, he, he's all right. Yeah, but you said that... You know, it's a funny thing. I can't figure it out. Johnny did his turn, you know, the one with the duck, and then suddenly Randall decided he shouldn't go on for the Shakespearean act, and they tried to get Jerry. Well, that doesn't make sense. After all, Johnny's marvelous in that Shakespearean act. I, I know most of the lines. Oh, I know, son, and you're very good, too, but that's... Oh, well, it's just Johnny's special. What'd they do this afternoon when they couldn't find Jerry? Well, that's the funniest part of the whole business, Jason. They simply let the act ride. You mean they didn't do it? Yeah, that's it. And Randall's such a stickler for giving the public everything he's promised them. Yeah, he even let Patsy go on when the ropes and trapezes and things are so bad. I can't make it out. Must be something behind all this. Mm, I'll say so. Hey, here we stand talking in all this wind, and the show's ready to go. Yeah, come on here, Rags. We better take our places. Well, I, I suppose I'd better go over and, and see why. Yeah, I really think you should, Jerry. And then if you find he can get along all right, come on back and hang around the pad room or the backyard. Yeah, I'd sure like to see your act tonight. Yeah, why? Well, I don't know. All this wind and... I'm kind of worried. <laughs> now, listen, Jerry, don't you worry about me. I've handled my cats in bad weather before, so there's no danger. You sure? Of course I am. Gee, I'm sure glad. I, I was kind of worried. Well, now I got work to do. See you later, Jerry. Okay, so long. So long. Oh, hello there, Jerry. Oh, well, late for what? His act. Uh, Jason. Oh, no, no. He's just going to do the jumping act now. You see? They're letting the rest of the lions into the arena now. Good. I, I wanted to watch him. Gee, the cats seem kind of nervy, don't they? Well, they'll be all right. Jason knows how to handle them. It's lucky I went back to see Whitey. He sure was having his hands full with them horses. Splendor was cutting up for a fairly well. You don't say. Yep. And she only quieted down when I went in and patted her neck and talked kind of soft and like to her. Hmm. There they go. Look, Bumps. What? Where? A daisy. She jumped before she was supposed to. She took the stand Nemo's supposed to have. Oh, Jason will put her in her place. Yeah, but she don't like it much. Look at that cat fight back. She isn't going back. Look at her. She lunged right at Jason. That's all right. He had his chair in front of him. But, hey, she's got him in a corner. He... That's... Yeah, yeah, that's get her. Woo, yeah. Must have been close enough to scorch Daisy's fur. Yeah, he's got her under control now. You see how he backs her up? Yeah. She's going right up to her own stand again. Golly, Bumps, Jason is sure great. There now, he's ready to start again. Yeah, that's right. Daisy went on to her own tub there. Yeah, but she's plenty mad. Funny, because she's usually gentle, too. Boy, I'm glad he's finished that. See, he's letting them all leave the cage except Nemo. Yes, yeah, smart boy. No good trying an act with those animals when they're as nervous as that. You only missed the part where Daisy makes that big leap over the other lions. Well, that's that. Now there's just Jason's fight with Nemo, and they'll be all through. Why do people like to see men fight with wild animals? Oh, it's an instinct. I guess it's a sort of a fascination. Golly, look at them roll over in the dust. Boy, it sure is exciting. <laughs> yeah, Jason and Nemo have been doing that fight for years. Well, he trained Nemo from a cub. Golly, I know it's not half as dangerous as some of the other tricks, but it's sure thrilling. <laughs> well, it sounds like the timers like it, too. Even the few of them that are here tonight. Bumps, well, come with me. Just one minute. Huh? Oh, what is it, Alfredo? I thought you'd finished your act and were through. Yes, we finished, but Carlos, he is sick. No, you're fooled. Cross my chest. It's true, he is sick. Oh, gee. The wire, it is bad tonight. When we finally finish, Carlos is all funny and pale. And then he try not to let on he is sick, because he kid me so much. But when we in wagon, he had to lie down. 
so I come for you. I best because he took those pills. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. I'll be right over, Alfredo. Thank you, Bunt. You good friend. <laughs> this should teach Carlos not to kid so much. Yeah, this must be what they meant when they say th that about taking your own medicine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of looks like it. But it's a shame to laugh at him if he really is sick. <laughs> Poor Carlos. Well, come on, Jerry. We better get over to the wagon. Hey, quick, huh? the menagerie tent. The zebras are stampeding. Part of the tent is loose. Hey, well, that, that's down. serious. Carly, it's getting cold. Oh, Alfredo. Alfredo, I'll be over there soon. There's trouble in the animal tent. And after I help him, I'll come to the wagon. Thank you, Bum. We'll be there. Well, come on, Jerry. Kelly will probably need all the hands he can possibly get. See, it is cold. Look, the side of that tent. It's blown right off. Oh, what a gale. No wonder the zebras are causing trouble. Oh, poor Kelly. Oh, come on, Jerry. There's some men working on those stakes. They need more, though. Yeah, and there's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. What can we do? You're good with animals, Jerry. Get inside and give the boys a hand with those zebras. Yes, sir. But be sure you don't get kicked. They're pesky little critters. Well, what about me, Kelly? Uh, help me here on these ropes. You're heavy enough to hold them down. I was afraid Jerry would fly right up with the tent. <laughs> Wise cracking even in trouble, huh? Might as well. Hey, Kelly, why not get the elephants? I thought you were inside helping yeah, with Yeah, I know, but, well, why not get the elephants to help pull those, those ropes down? Golly, there aren't enough men. And... Here, looks like the boy is right, Kelly. I'll say he is. Jeff, get hold of Olsen and get a couple of those bulls out here, quick. Okay. Golly, look at those ropes there. Just like they were made of string. Now, this tent is in the way of the gale. That's why it's taken most of the punishment. Hitch that bull up to the far end, Jerry. I will. And swim. Bring those other bulls down here. It's going to work. I know it's going to work. Well, it is better. We'll have the towners born out here in a short time. Hey, Jeff. Easy. Let that bull pull in the slack handle. All right. Yeah, that's better. Oh, so what a blow. Huh? Quick. All hands inside. A couple of zebras got loose. Hey, Jeff, quick, on the seat. Come on, Jerry. We better see what we can do. Catch that critter quick, boys. Gosh, I ain't got a hankering to get kicked to death. Those zebras are certainly vicious little beasts. Hey, look out, you get hurt. Look out, careful. Oh, 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 oh. I got the varmint. But Jeff is hurt. Some water, quick, now. Okay, I'll Oh, the on. poor devil. Jeff got right in the way of that crazy animal. Oh. 